Hello. Welcome to my November wrap up. It's still the fifth of December. Yeah. So let's let's wrap up November, shall we? So I read a couple books. I read three physical books and four um what I called audio books. Um I caught up on the High Republic comics too, but like I said in October, I'm probably not going to do comics anymore, but, you know, just kind of caught up on them, and, uh, yeah, so let's, let's discuss. So the first book I finished was A New Dawn by John Jackson Miller, this is physical books. Um, I really enjoyed the book. Um, the first half was pretty slow, uh, and it all took place, I think, in a span of, like, three days. So, I mean... It had some weird pacing, but uh, overall, I thought the book was good. I love to kind of see the Hera, uh, Kane and Jarrus um, origin story. I thought that was cool. Um, it definitely did feel a little bit like Rebels, um, not not entirely, because like it was an adult book, and there's a lot, um, a lot of background, a lot more of an adult background on uh, Kanan than I think we would have ever got in the series. Um, it was interesting to see him between running away from the Jedi Order, where we're at least where we saw him both in the comic and in the right, not not the Jedi Order, the clones. From where we saw him in the comic or the Bad Batch to where he is in Rebels, I thought that was interesting. Um almost a little bit kinda has like a bit of an origin, a little bit like Cal Castus, um, where he's just kinda working, you know, random little uh, jobs and hopping place to play. I don't think Cal Kestis hopped place to play, but he did. Uh, so that was interesting to see his background and then to see how Hera kind of, or where she was after we saw her in the Bad Batch. She's kind of always been kind of this par- part of a rebellion, you know, against the Empire. So that was a good book. Uh, the next I started a, a new series. Um, it's a new manga series called uh, Battle Angel Alita. Um, and I read the first volume. I thought it was really, really good. Um, I don't know if I can, like, say too much about it without spoiling it, but I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna try to finish all six volumes of the first run of the series, because I know there's a second Battle Angel Alita series, but uh, I'm gonna finish this run before I go and watch the movie. I don't know how much the movie covers, but, uh, I'd be surprised if it was further than the first volume, but, you know, whatever. I enjoyed it. It's pretty good so far. Um, and then finally, uh... Oh, I did not read three books. I read two books. Two physical books. The other one, I read a chapter of Dune between books. Um, I started to read another one physically, and then I couldn't really get into it, and so I did it as an audiobook, and I finished it that way. But anyway, uh, audiobook-wise, I uh, I read No Gods, No Monsters by Cadwell Turnbull. Um, I thought it was a really good series. A really great representation in the book. Um, the main character was... Um, non binary, no, they were trans and asexual, that's what they were, in a um, polygamous relationship, which I thought was great representation right off the bat. It was a little confusing at first, kind of figuring out all the different timelines and stuff, and like what's what's happening when, but overall I really enjoyed the book, um, definitely recommend it um, if you ever get a chance, and the audiobook was really, really good. Um, I don't remember who did it, but they were fantastic. Um, anyway, uh, then I read, I think, I read Can You Thank Me Later by Kelly Harris, which was a sad book, but I really enjoyed it. Um, it's kind of it's about this family over three Thanksgivings, over six years, I believe. Um, and you followed one, uh, you followed the sister, there was a sister, brother, and another brother, and at the beginning... Uh, something happens with the one brother and his wife, um, and then they just kind of ex- after and as a result of that event, you kind of follow them through the next couple Thanksgivings and how they deal with everything. Um, I thought it was really good. Um, I'm definitely gonna try to look into more Kelly Harms books if I can. But uh, it was read by the uh, person who does the st- uh, the Bone Something trilogy by Lee Bardugo, but she did this fantastic job. Um, and then, and then I read Ronin by Emma Miko Cannon, or Candon, Emma Miko Candon. Um, I started that book at, I mean, it's right here. I started that book, you know, physically, and then I just couldn't really get into it. Um, it was fine. 
I I don't, I don't know. It wasn't. I didn't really care for. It. It's like the first Star Wars book that I didn't like care for. Um, it was it was it was a little confusing. I might have to go back and reread it to really un- to get it and understand it. But I don't know. It was fine. Um, I really liked how they um, took a lot of Japanese cultural inf- influences and. I like how the book is really influenced by Japanese culture. I thought that part was really good. Um, Emma Miko Kandon, Can, Emma Miko Kandon, will I ever say it right? Wrote the battles really, really well. I think they were fantastic. The battles were amazing. Um, everything in between the battles was just kind of meh, and I really didn't get the ending. That's kind of on me though. Um, I only kind of half paid attention to the beginning of the book, so maybe that's why I didn't really. I finished or end the book well because I was working, um, and then I finished the audiobooks on my walk. So you know it is what it is. Um, and then the next, did I talk? No, no. Then I I read this before. I think I read this at the beginning of the month. Uh, Out of the Silent Planet by C.S. Lewis. Um, it's kind of an introductory to a reintroduction to C.S. Lewis, um, and his sci-fi books, uh, which I didn't even know he had. I actually saw the physical copy at the. Uh, books a million a couple days ago, but I read it. It was good. Um, it wasn't amazing. I thought it was a really good start to the series. It's a trilogy called the Space Trilogy, I believe. Uh, this month, I plan on reading the next book, which I believe is called Paralandia or Paralandra. Um, so I'm excited to see where it goes. Um, it was really it was an interesting way of looking at things. Uh, it was the 1930s, uh, so it's kind of a classic sci-fi book. Uh, I enjoyed it though. I thought it was good, and then. Uh, Finally, I read what I think might be one of my favorite books of all time, or I listened to one of my fa- what might be my favorite book, one of my favorite books of all time, which is Axiom's End by Lindsay Ellis. Uh, there's a lot of criticism about the way she, the way the writing was in this book. Um, let me tell you, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see it. Um, maybe it's because I listened to it as an audiobook, but also maybe because I don't have great literary understanding. Uh, or not literary understanding, but like, I'm bad at English in the sense. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason that I went to school for engineering. It's, uh, let's, let's, let's let's leave it at that. Um, the only finals I ever failed in high school and middle school were English, so or uh, literacy or whatever. So you know, if that gives you any hint at what I'm talking about, you know, and if that didn't, maybe my grammar does. Who knows? But um, I love the story and I love the characters, especially Ampersand. And and I love the relationships, especially Ampersand's and um, Korra's relationship in the book. And I was really hoping that they would explore that more in Truth of the Divine, which I'm reading now. And I don't and I don't care for it, but we'll get to that. Um, but yeah, I really loved Axiom's End. It's a fantastic way to wrap up the month. A really really good book. Um, highly recommended. I don't know if I can say the same about the sequel, Truth of the Divine. But yeah, so uh, that's my November wrap up. Um, not much to say about everything. Let's try not to say too much about books. And I don't think I'm going to edit this. So, yeah. Because I pretty much just talked about it very through. Anyway, if you like this, uh, give it a like. If you didn't, sorry. Uh, definitely subscribe if you want to see more. Because I will have, uh, maybe a review of Truth of the, Divi- of Truth of the Divine. Maybe not. Um, but yeah. Anyway, oh, I also started Thrawn Greater Good last month. Uh, I'm finishing it this month. Probably going to try to finish it today. It's got 110 pages left, so we'll see. Anyway, peace out, party people.